Natasha Leone, everybody. You, um... You shot this show all over, including uh, uh, Las Vegas, uh, New Mexico. How uh, if someone you say like so. you, a <laughs> city person mm -hmm. like yourself, how do you? How did you feel with the desert environment? Did you enjoy working there? <sighs> um. So uh, you know, I. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't know. You my guys life. are you're I, reacting. Uh... You're reacting like this is a gotcha <laughs> question. <laughs> First of all, I will say, it's always surprising to me to hear the locations. Uh, I know I was there, but it's like a memory. Um, uh -huh. But I, uh, yeah, I uh, don't love uh, heat uh -huh. as a rule. I, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mind uh, dry desert heat. I, I think I like the sort of, uh, the, the landscape, the expanse, uh, but <laughs> I, I don't love uh, my, my hair, it's a lot of hair, Seth. It's like a sable coat. And uh, what comes with that, you know, you know, I also, I write, I direct, I, I produce like gangbusters. Oh, yeah, and, one, of uh, our, one of our foremost producers. <laughs> well, and uh, I'm like a young Bob Evans figure, but we know this. Uh, the point is, when acting, you've got, there's a lot of touching involved. Uh, yeah. Which is, I like touch, but... By choice. Yeah. Uh, I'm... I think that's what pretty much where everybody's landing these days. Yes, yeah. well, if we've learned one thing uh, recently, and I'm like a cat that way. Uh, but, you know, such is the lot of the actress, which is how it's pronounced. Uh, a lot of people say it wrong. Yeah, you do, but you put three S's on it. Yes, yes. And it's, uh, so there's a lot of extra touch involved in the heat and... Uh. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, so I don't love... My dream is to be a winter actress. Uh, <laughs> only oh. because then I could... Uh, I, but I would, I'm would. i fine to be a, a, a summer writer or director. Okay, so you'll work, yes. you'll do sort of behind the camera in the summer months and this then, is and what then I... on screen for Zhivago and, and the like. <laughs> The, the great is, winter work. First, first of all, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like those hats and Julie Christie. That's a picture. That's what that's you want. A winter picture. <laughs> that's why you leave the house for acting. Now you, because Russian Doll, which is a wonderful show, yeah. you, uh, you know, a show you created. You shot that how close to your actual apartment? Right. So yeah, you know, uh, I run it. So you know, it shoots two blocks from the house <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> In the uh, in the dead of winter, in the middle of the night, <laughs> and I wear one outfit, and it's a black overcoat. Um, so something to think about. Now you uh, you got you did go to school thinking you would do film stuff, but you did not stay uh, 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 throughout. Yes, yeah. that's, that's how that's pronounced. Throughout. Yes. Uh, well, that's like uh, how a professor would say it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Natasha, your I, grades. <laughs> We're not sure you're going to stay uh, throughout. I see you have been to college. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so here's what happened. I, uh, so I was like, what, 15, 16? And I said, uh, all right, school, I get it. I, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try for one, for Tish. And then I'll go there, I'll be a film and philosophy double major if they accept me. Yeah. And I write this thing, T.S. Eliot, whatever. And I, uh, <laughs> they send me back some sort of a note, uh, you're hired. <laughs> Or whatever college is saying. So you're, I show you're hired. up there. When I got into college, it was a post-it note that said, you're hired. So I show up, and I say, great. I'm 16. I think they were more 18 or so. Yeah. Uh, that, historically, that's uh, usually what they that's are. That's good for them. And I, uh, then they put me in this class, and it's uh, Cinema Studies 101. And... Uh, you know, it was like, we're going to watch Apocalypse Now. And so I went right to the Dean of Admissions, and I said, now listen, I've seen Apocalypse Now. You know, I've read Heart of Darkness. I've seen the documentary Hearts of Darkness. I loved it. Uh, the horror, the horror of my tuition <laughs> is what I said. And I said, if you think I'm going to pay to hang out with these teenagers and talk about Apocalypse Now. If you haven't seen Apocalypse Now by this age, why are you in film school, honey? <laughs> like, yeah. so my dream was I was going to read all this, you know, philosophy. I was going to write these sort of like Bergman, but comedies and direct them. And anyway, I tried to, you know, retroactively negotiate my way into a scholarship. They wouldn't give it to me. Yeah. Uh, it's tough. Once you've already written them a check, <laughs> they tend not I to... I never did, yeah. is yeah. the okay. point. Oh, gotcha. I, I left, and... 
Instead, I, there's a great education available to you in this city uh, at the Film Forum. And also, in the back of the, the Times, there'll be things like YMCAs, where you can go in the middle of the day with just a few, like a scattered bunch of very old people. <laughs> and on a little fold-out metal chair, I would watch like all the great noir films and I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where you, did you first see Gaslight in Hawaii, likely? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And now this is, uh, you know, again, obviously, just based on that story alone, we know yeah. the, the depth of the interesting things that have happened in your life. You believed you were, you grew up in Herman Melville's house. This is also true. Which, uh, I'm, which is an incredible thing to uh, grow up in, a, in Herman Melville's home. Yeah, sure. So I thought. Uh, How do you get that wrong? I guess. Yeah. Well, you should ask your friends at the New Yorker. Surely. Uh, uh, you've, you've read it. Uh, the uh, magazine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they do this thing there, I guess, called fact-checking. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> who's it for? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. We get it. You yeah. guys are smart. I don't know. Uh, college. Uh, so, yeah, so I guess they told me that... Um, Yes, your childhood was a sham, which I already knew. So did you tell a reporter that uh, you lived the in The story I was told. OK. And then is... they came back to you and said. And, they, and I was like, well, who else is claiming Herman Melville? <laughs> and are all these people running around being like, I lived in Moby Dick's house? Like, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Give me one thing. <laughs> and so uh, anyway, it turns out I did not grow up in Herman gotcha. Melville's home, if that's where this is leading. <laughs> That was my gotcha question. And that's question. why you brought me here today, <laughs> Seth. You win again. You know what? Yeah. You walked in here on your high horse being like, I yeah. lived in Melville's house, yeah. but now we all know the truth. Yeah. Did you really uh, watch a couple of animals like uh, uh, meet their demise in your home growing up? Uh, rabbit? I, I, I did, rabbit? Seth, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what happened? Um, yeah, well, you know, it was a rocky road, and... Uh -huh. uh, I guess, uh, well, my parents, I want to say they were eccentrics, but they were just alcoholic. Okay. And, uh, and... Yeah, were you worried the New Yorker was going to fact check it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, I guess they had, they had, they overfed the sheep and the rabbit and, yeah. uh, you know, I, I love animals, uh, yeah. so... Do you uh, have pets now? Of course, root beer, I would I'd give a many... <laughs> Wow, it's a, I like that it's a root beer head. I, but I mean, I give her a lot of snacks, yeah. but you I know, would you never would, you explode would not, her. Yeah, oh, yeah, like you, yes, no. That's how the sheep went? A yeah. full explosion of over. That's what I remember. I, I don't but know. But you remember I, a lot wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or too right. Too right. <laughs> you know? It was, it was, yeah. it was too right to make it wrong. Yeah, it's um, not as easy to get in a lobotomy as it used to be. Oh, my God, it's well. Just, I, uh, I hope you never get one, and I hope you keep coming back. And my goodness gracious, it's such a fun show. And it's always such a delight to see you. Thank you. There's no one like Natasha Leone, everybody. New episodes of Poker Face, Thursdays on Peacock. We'll be right back with Adam Pally.